there were dozens of witnesses. He shot the lady next to me. But despite all the evidence against Jared Loeffner, this could be one of those rare cases where a guilty verdict is difficult and the death penalty almost impossible. This is going to be a case that's going to focus on mental health issues. For his defense, Loeffner will have one of the best. Judy Clark has represented Unabomber Ted Kaczynski, the Atlanta Olympics bomber Eric Rudolph, and Susan Smith, the South Carolina woman who drowned her children. All three were facing the death penalty. All three instead were sentenced to life. She has a special expertise in cases involving uh, uh, mental disorder. In defending Loeffner, attorney said Clark's first battle will be proving he's not even mentally competent to stand trial. You wonder whether um, this young man's delusions will interfere with his ability to have a rational understanding, because that's what the law requires, a rational understanding of the court process. Criminal defense attorney Barry Boss had a similar case, Russell Weston, who in 1998 shot and killed two Capitol Police officers. Weston was diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic and ruled incompetent to stand trial. If a judge says Loeffner is competent for trial, Clark is widely expected to then raise an insanity defense. But that defense rarely works. An exception is John Hinckley, who tried to kill President Reagan and was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Confined indefinitely to a mental institution, Hinckley now has freedom to leave the facility for unsupervised visits with his family. Now, if Loeffner is convicted of the crimes, the insanity defense could still help him avoid the death penalty, as it did for those other clients of Judy Clark. Katie? Of course, we'll all be watching. Jan Crawford, Jan, thank you.